Let's talk about metal gradients, metallic gradients. You can see this microphone here on the screen has a number of metallic gradients all running different directions. We're going to add a metallic gradient to this white band going around the center of uh, our little retro microphone here. We're going to do that by going layer, layer style gradient overlay. Obviously, you can apply a gradient however you want. This is just how we're doing it. Actually, a, a nice red band looks kind of cool, but for the sake of this tutorial, we need to go with metal. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to choose the simple black to white gradient. Now, typically with gradients, I like to have about five uh, color stops. That's metal gradients. Um, maybe actually we'll go six here. The the key with metal gradients I found is you need at least one point that's very, very close to white. Maybe not quite white. And another point fairly close to that that's pretty close to being black, like a very dark charcoal color. Uh, maybe that's actually a little bit too dark. And then every other point just has to be some varying shade of gray or light gray, something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the rest of these here and make them uh, varying shades of gray or white, things like that. Double click this color stop and make this another light gray over here and then make this a much darker gray on the way out the door over here. And there we go, we've created a metal gradient. Hit OK and then set the angle to like zero, something like that. And we have now a metal gradient. What I would probably do is adjust this so I have sh my shadow or the dark portion of my gradient running right along where the dark portion of the gradient runs on the microphone behind it. But for the sake of this tutorial, this is how to create a metal gradient in Photoshop very, very, very quickly. The key is a very light point and a very dark point and then a nice mixture of medium gray thereafter. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.